They're the Olympic Rugby Sevens champions with their eyes on taking gold in the upcoming Commonwealth Games. For two weeks, the Fijian national team is calling Canford School in Dorset home as they're put through a training camp as part of preparations. It's a place new head coach Ben Gollings knows well, being a former pupil of the Dorset School. A nation that captured the world's imagination after winning Olympic gold in Tokyo. For Fijians, rugby sevens is everything. When Fiji play, neither country just comes to a standstill. They'll drive up to the top of a hill and, and put a TV in the back of their car and attach it to a car battery and get the, get the antenna out in order to watch the rugby. And I think that just explains to you just how passionate they are about wanting to support their team and watch the games. Next, it's the Commonwealth Games, and for two weeks, the squad is using Canford School in Dorset as its training camp, a place former pupil, now head coach Ben Gollings, knows well. How does a, a Dorset schoolboy become the Fijian Sevens coach? So I was uh, fortunate enough to come here between around 95 and, and 99. Pretty fantastic school, and since I left, I've always had close attachment to it. Coaching's a passion, and it's something I've, uh, I really wanted to get into, having played the sport. For me, you know, it was, it, was a, it was almost a bit like a dream come true. Um, I've, I've done battle against them for many years, and so the opportunity to actually uh, work with them and, and lead them is, is, is fantastic. A record point scorer for England as a player, Ben's used to performing on the highest stages. Even at school, he led Canford to glory in a National Cup. The hope is a Dorset experience will bring further success for Fiji. It was a pretty good fit for us in terms of the opportunity to come in an environment like this where we've got everything that we need, but also close to the ocean, so there's a bit more of a feel home from home. You explored Bournemouth Beach and all that had to offer. <laughs> Tell me about that. <laughs> that was fun. So, you know, the boys love their touch. Locals would come by and start joining in. Yeah, I don't think people realise probably they were running around with quite a number of gold, gold Olympic medalists at the time either. They're just such a humble group. Um, so it was, it was great to see it. From the golden sands to gold medals. That's the expectation for a rugby-loving nation. We're here to claim that gold. Um, what comes with it in terms of the pressure, you, you, you are kind of like second in charge in the nation, if that makes sense. And there's a lot of expectation for us to win. But I, you know, for us, I think you're fortunate enough that they're so talented and they're such a great group of players that uh, uh, there's less pressure in that regard.